Yo, yo, what's the deal? It's your boy, The Kid Blast. We're up here at Firehouse Studios for a special episode of Firehouse Ignite. Got a special guest with us today, Glizzy Glow in the house. Yo, what's what it up? do? It's Big Gliz, not the little one. <laughs> Appreciate you for sliding on us today. For sure. How you been? I've been great. Yeah? Yeah. I know you just dropped that, that, wa that single, That Water. Yeah. Um, that's been going up for you. Tell me about that. For sure. Um, well... It's really like my first biggest song, I say, because this is the first time I got as many views as I got on YouTube. Yeah. It's getting played on the radio. You know, it's like my most requested song is going viral on TikTok. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen the dances and all that. Everything like taking off on TikTok. Yeah, for sure. Because originally it was a it was a different dance that I put out there, but you know, something TikTok else, picked it yeah, up and, and they to do made it something different. Yeah. That's what I love about TikTok. Um, who produced that beat for that? Um, produced by War. Okay. Yeah. Is, do you tap in with him, or is that like a beat you found on YouTube? Or? Uh, it was actually Mimo is tapped in with okay. him. So it was a beat that Mimo actually sent me a beat pack, like with okay. a bunch of different ones, and I picked that one. Did you know, did you recognize the sample from the Macarena song? or? I did, but it didn't like hit me until after the song was made. Really? Like, That's oh, hilarious. Oh, damn, this is Macarena. Like, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I, it's almost like destined to go viral because I don't think I've heard anybody ever sample that record before, yeah. you know what I'm saying, in hip hop. So, and like, I didn't, was, it's crazy because I didn't pick it because of that. Yeah. I was just like, this shit, like, that's hilarious. That's probably probably why TikTok got a hold of it so quick, quick on, on the yeah. on the, the dance tip. Um, <clears throat> um, having Memo six hundred on that was that not just like was, was y'all in the studio together or was that like you know what I want to put him on that or how did that how did he end up on that song? So actually, we was at the studio together oh, and nice. um, Memo was recording like on his own hours and I was recording on my own hours. Okay. But when I was recording, he was like, um, let's do a song together. And I was like, okay, cool. And then he sent me the beats. That's how he ended up sending me the beats. He was like, pick one from these. Okay, Cause okay. it was like beats that's his style that he do already. So. Yeah, I feel that, I feel that. Yeah, that's how that came about. And then like, I just went right in and did the hook and he came in right behind me. Like, that's what's up. Um, Y'all look extra chummy in the video. Um, y'all, y'all together basically. Y'all item or, or yeah. Do you have you been catching any flack from like you know the other, you know females in hip hop for it, or as far as like you know people saying that, you know, he's the reason you're on, or you know what I'm saying, or any of that type of sh silly shit. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Like you got a couple people here and there that's gonna you know say what they say, but. That's not majority of what, of what people say. Majority of what people say be positive shit about like me and him being together because they see like him working extra harder. Like, mm. you know, like he had a girl now, so it's different. And I rap too, so it's like we doing shit together. Yeah. People picking it up more, so it's like, you know, people like to see that. I say we get more positive feedback that's than dope. negative. That's good. That's, yeah. that's, dope. that's dope to see. Um, how long have you been rapping? I've been rapping since 2019. 2019, so about five yeah. years now? Yeah, but uh, I just got consistent, i say probably like year before last. That's when I really started taking it serious. Mm, that's yeah. what's up, that's what's up. And I seen um, in your Chicago Wave interview that you, you from the South Side, you from Inglewood. Yeah. And that your family's from Detroit? No, my family, I, they from Chicago too. Okay. But they just from a different side of Chicago. They from the South Side, but they from a different part. They not oh, from Inglewood. Oh, okay, I understand, I understand, yeah. I understand. What uh what got you what got you into rapping like what, what made you decide like you wanted to try to take this route? So growing up, like my cousins always told me like I act like an artist like mm. image wise the stuff I'm into I'm fascinated with they like you should be a rapper and stuff like that they mm. always like said t told me that I should but I never like you know actually like, got actually into did it. rap so how I started rapping was me and my friends got drunk we was at my house one day we just freestyling on the beat. And when I freestyled, when it came to my turn, they was like, they cut the beat off. They was like, no, you go your ass to the studio. We finna record this shit. <laughs> so that's how I literally started. That's how my first song came about. And as soon as I posted it, the first day I posted it, I had like 10K views on YouTube on my that's first crazy. song. So it was like, yeah, you need to do this. That's fire. That's yeah. dope when it happens like that. Well, um, it was really by accident. For real, for real. That's dope. That, 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 it's a calling. That means that, that this shit is really like calling for you. For sure. That's fire. Um, I peeped that... Um, you own multiple businesses, including salons and a hair retail business and a rental uh, rental company. Do you what, what's your biggest obstacle when it comes to like 
being an entrepreneur and running your own businesses? Ghetto people. Mm, explain. Like when you you <laughs> when you doing when you running your business in a ghetto way because I got business that I run in like okay say like my Airbnb business and. Atlanta, because I live in Atlanta, mm. I use actual Airbnb, so people book through my booking site. But when I had my Airbnb business in Chicago, which I don't got no more. Okay. Because you know, like, when you doing something, you progress over time, you realize what you don't want to do, what you do want right, to do. Right, right. But when I had my Airbnb in Chicago, which I had both of them for three years, I made a lot of money, don't get me wrong. Mm. But it was just, like, the way I was running it. I'm running it with people book through text. They don't have to go through an actual app. They don't have mm. to use a car. So it's just, like... The way you run it is, I will say that's like the type of customers that you bring. Right, right. People that don't got like no real bank account, right, stuff like right. that. Not trying to sound like that, but I'm just saying like, <laughs> nah, them it usually be the sure. people that don't give a fuck about fucking your shit up because right. you really can't come back for them to do nothing. Right, it ain't no right. documentation. So yeah, for sure. I say that like dealing with people that's not, not in a, and that's something on my end too, on a professional, more level type. I feel so, that. Yeah. Um, do you feel like having all these businesses and, and doing everything has, you know, distracted you or taken you away from music? Uh, for sure. And that's why I really like um, this year, because I was still trying to juggle everything at once, plus I'm a mom. So. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. I got it with you. So it's like, um, I had really, like, prayed on it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And I feel like God just told me, like, Shit, just have faith. Mm -hmm. So I ended up actually this year, probably like two months ago, I closed my salon. Damn. Um, yeah. I closed my salon and I um stopped my Airbnb business down here too. But um like I did all I I didn't just lose out on business. I transferred it to business that I didn't really have to mm -hmm. physically be there to do. So I do I Turo, I do Airbnb that people could just check in, somebody could go and Autopilot. You know, like yeah, just like right. basically Made it where I can strictly focus on my kids and my, you know, music career. My kids usually with me when I'm doing shit because, you know, they older. So I can up. more focus on rap. That's fire. That's yeah. dope. Um, how did you, how were you even, how did you, how did you start the B&B business? You, you like bought a crib or you rented out a spot and then like re kind of put that up on, on B&B or how did you get your start? So when I first started, um, I originally was just living in a house that I didn't want to live in no more. But <laughs> I hear that. Yeah, but I didn't want to. But you didn't want to fuck up the break lease. my lease, yeah. yeah, and I didn't want to pay to get out of it. So yeah. I'm like, maybe I could just leave all the shit because I was ready to move to Atlanta. I hear that. So I'm like, maybe I could just leave all the shit here and take my personal items and see how it'll do hmm, or whatever. That's smart. And when I did it, um, it was like people texting me like, "You let us have parties? Can we smoke and stuff like that?" And I'm like. Yeah, for an extra 200 <laughs> So it was that's like, once that money was coming in fast like that, I'm like, damn, I need to give me another mm, one. So smart. that's how that came about. That's dope. Yeah. Um, So so what's next for you? What, what You got the next single locked and loaded, or, or, or what's y'all plans? Um, I actually just shot a video. I had um, a hosting slash show in Minnesota with Mimo. We actually nice. just made another single because people fucking with our collabs right now so i'm like we might yeah. as well put something else out there sure. for the people That's so we ended up shooting a video today we got a new single coming out called red dot so nice. i had actually posted a sample video and it's going crazy so nice nice yeah. that's dope um do you ha have you got any like label attention yet of any of the of any of the labels yeah. started to reach out already yeah i get a lot of label attention that's dope that's dope any yeah. um like, are you leaning towards anybody, or are you or are you leaning towards keeping it independent? Or I mean, no, I'm definitely I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't want to be an independent artist. Like mm, too I'm much really, work. Yeah, I feel like I just and then I feel like I'm not saying that independent artists can't be a mainstream artist. I'm not saying that, but I just feel like when you got connections with certain people, they can take you to different places. Sure. You feel me? So yeah, but I'm not really leaning towards nobody. I mean, my manager Allo, they be hitting him up a lot, like directly hitting him up labels and stuff. But we ain't really leaning towards nobody yet, cause I'm still building myself as an artist. So sure. I want to get what I'm really worth, not what I'm, you know, starting yeah. out worth. Yeah, type no, shit. for sure. That's that's definitely yeah smart. A lot of people, you know, jump at the first opportunity they come across. You know what I'm saying? Cause 
Yeah. They desperate or they in a tough situation or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So it's definitely good to have some money already coming in and you ain't got to just jump at the first check, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Even if, I ain't going to lie to you, even if I didn't, I always go off, like, how I feel when I talk to God. Like, I know, like, sometimes good things come with patience. So, mm. like, if I ain't got it right now, maybe it's just not my time to have it because I might mishandle it. Mm. So it's like, I'm good on waiting till it's my turn. Like, that's what's up. That's, that's yeah. some wisdom right there, man. I hope y'all listening to that, man. <laughs> that's what's up. Well, I appreciate you for sliding on us. Um, you want to go ahead and shout out your socials so everybody can find out where yeah, to find Yeah, for sure. You? My um, socials, everything is at Glizzy Glow, G-L-I-I-Z-Z-Y-G-L-O-W. No spaces, no none of that. All Glizzy Glow, TikTok, Instagram, all that. There you go. Well, we appreciate you for sliding on us. You going to drop some heat on that fire escape for us? For sure. Coming soon. All right, bet. Well, I'm the boy, the Kid Blast. Glizzy Glow with us. This is Firehouse Ignite. Appreciate y'all for tuning in.